Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I take handwritten notes digitally. I use the Surface Pro and Surface Pen, and Microsoft OneNote as my note-taking application. OneNote is included in the Microsoft Office Suite, which I use. In OneNote, you can draw with a pen, pencil, or highlighter. Like other note-taking applications, you can zoom in and out, and it's responsive to touch. Surface pens have a button on the back of the pen that can be used for shortcuts. There's a sensor in the pen, so in OneNote it acts as an eraser. The eraser is helpful because you can switch between the eraser and pen without having to access the menu at the top of the screen. OneNote features notebooks, which contain pages that you write in. The name page is misleading, however, because it's not limited to the length of one page. It's easy to draw your own shapes in OneNote, but you can use the ruler that's included in the software. The ruler features an angle measurement, so it can be perfectly vertical or perfectly horizontal. For hobbies and non-school related things, I draw in rectangles. This is mostly because I use OneNote to plan out digital designs. I prefer drawing with the surface pen over the Apple Pencil because it features a rubber tip. The grippy tip allows you to write and draw with a fair amount of control without needing to use a screen protector. Now onto a real example of how I would actually use the pen. In this example, I'm designing the front page of a website. I mostly draw basic loose sketches. The rectangle in this case represents the screen and it allows me to know the spacing between all the elements on the page. To draw these rectangles, I use the ink to shape feature, which allows you to draw handwritten shapes and have it automatically convert into computer generated ones. The ink to shape feature works pretty well and observes the dimensions that you drew. I use OneNote to write my notes for math and science. I start by using the insert printout feature, which allows you to insert a Word document or PDF saved to your hard drive. I write all my vital notes in gray. Vital notes include everything I need to know in order to understand the topic. I use the orangish red pen to annotate the gray notes or add thoughts. These notes aren't vital and mostly provide extra explanations for if I get confused later. Here's an example of my science notes. I imported the document using the insert printout feature. Wherever there are any questions, I answer them in gray. To provide an extra explanation as to why something happens, I use the orange pen. Thanks for watching. I post new videos every Sunday.